This video is sponsored by Unreal Human Technologies. Unreal works with the best minds on the planet to bring you essential life skills, ancient sciences, practices, and support for the lifetime learning experience. Click the link in the description below and you'll receive free access to a four video series on the subject of the self, self inquiry meditation, and quarterly self assessment tool. On every continent, we can find stories about highly advanced ancient beings who came from the skies and gave people knowledge in a variety of subjects. Being so advanced, they became worshipped as gods by the primitive people. Many believe they created a global planetary empire, connecting every continent on Earth by erecting spectacular megalithic structures and precisely aligning them with the stars and with each other. There are many stories of sophisticated ancient civilizations and advanced technology. There are tales of the genetic creation of man and of biblical giants roaming the earth. All of these stories are firmly denied by every scientist and archaeologist, but strangely, every year, countless mysterious and unexplained artifacts emerge from the abyss and completely deflate the understandings of our ancient past and the human evolution. According to the conventional view of history, humans have only walked the earth in our present form for some 200,000 years. Before that, earth was inhabited by nothing but wild animals and the early ancestors of men. According to science, the first advanced civilizations appeared several thousand years ago, and much of the mechanical ingenuity we know in modern times began to develop only around the Industrial Revolution, which was a couple of hundred years ago. The inexplicable artifacts we're about to show you are so fascinating and extraordinary, they completely disprove the scientific dogmas we've been taught in school and defy any scientific or historical explanation. The 300,000-year-old nanostructures Found in the Ural Mountains in Russia, these objects have caused quite a buzz since their discovery. The tiny structures are believed to have been the product of an extremely ancient civilization that was capable of developing nanotechnology about 300,000 years ago. The objects were discovered during a geological research mission whose purpose was the extraction of gold in the Ural Mountains of Russia. And while gold was the number one thing to look for, researchers were amazed to find something apparently much more valuable. The pieces discovered are coils, spirals, and shafts among the list of unidentified components that were unearthed during the geological missions in the area. The Russian Academy of Sciences performed several tests on these mysterious objects, and the results were quite interesting. After extensive research, it was discovered that the metals from which they were made could not originate in nature on their own, meaning that they are components that have an artificial technological origin. In other words, they were created by intelligent beings. Researchers found that the largest pieces that were unearthed were made almost entirely out of copper and the smaller ones from tungsten and molybdenum. According to the information available, these nanostructures were found at a depth between 10 and 40 feet, and their estimated date is over 300,000 years. According to science, Homo sapiens first started to appear in Africa during this period, so we cannot help to wonder who made them and for what purpose. Are they the result of a now extinct ancient civilization? Or are they the result of something beyond our planet? These are the questions that have been asked when it comes to the origin of these ancient nanostructures. The South African Metallic Spheres According to many people, the South Africa Metallic Spheres, also known as the Kirksdorp Spheres, are solid evidence that millions or even billions of years ago, ancient intelligent beings lived or at least visited our planet. For the past 30 years, miners in South Africa have extracted over 200 of these bizarre metallic spheres. These metallic spheres are estimated to be 2 to 3 billion years old. 
They slowly rotate all by themselves and have been examined by some of the world's top experts. The spheres are pretty small. They are only one to four inches long. Most of these spheres are colored steel blue and they also possess an odd reddish-like reflection. Embedded within these metallic spheres are tiny white fibers. They are made of nickel steel alloy, which does not occur naturally, proving that they must have been created by intelligent beings. Curiously, they very much resemble Saturn's moon, Mimas, which by itself resembles an artificial object. Till this day, the South African spheres still remain one of the world's greatest unsolved mysteries. No one knows their purpose, their origin, and how is it possible that intelligent creation could exist two billion years ago? Giant Skeletons In the last few centuries, countless strange archaeological discoveries have been made, especially in North America. It seems that people are unearthing extremely unusual giant human remains, and many documented accounts of these findings exist. Perhaps one of the most famous ones was published in the American newspaper, The World, in 1895, and showed the picture of a nine-foot mummified giant discovered near San Diego. A few years before that, in 1833, a human skeleton measuring 12 feet tall was unearthed at Lompoc Rancho, California. The specimen had a double row of teeth and was surrounded by numerous stone axes, carved shells, and porphyry blocks with abstruse symbols associated with it. In 1856, a decaying human skeleton measuring 10 feet 9 inches tall was unearthed by laborers plowing a vineyard in what is now West Virginia. A mound discovered near Toledo, Ohio, in 1895, held 20 skeletons. They were seated and facing east, with jaws and teeth twice as large as those of present-day people. The list of these discoveries is quite extensive, and many claims have been made about the origin of these giant bones. Some have suggested that an ancient race of giant humans once existed. And we cannot help but notice that stories about giants are present in every culture and every religion on every continent. From Asia to Africa to Europe and even in the Americas, stories of ancient giants are present everywhere. The Giant Finger in Egypt Another discovery supporting the belief that thousands of years ago a race of giants roamed the earth is this 38 centimeter long humanoid finger found in Egypt. The images displayed were taken in 1988 and were published by one of Europe's leading newspapers, the German Bild. The remains of this finger are impressive. It is a huge mummified humanoid finger that has 38 centimeters in length. Researchers from Egypt believed it had to belong to a creature that was over five meters in height. The astonishing discovery was found in an undisclosed tomb in Egypt, and the man who found the finger has a certificate of authenticity and even an X-ray image of the finger. Is this enough evidence to finally conclude that giants did in fact walk on Earth in the distant past? Tell us what you think in the comments below. The Dropa Discs in 1938, an archaeological expedition was sent to investigate a secluded area of the Bayan Karaula Mountains on the border that divides China and Tibet. The group discovered a series of caves at the summit of the mountains. The caves contained a large collection of graves, and the walls were decorated with drawings of people with elongated heads, together with images of the sun, moon, and stars. The archaeologist uncovered the graves and discovered the remains of very short humanoid beings. The skeletons were a little more than three feet tall, with abnormally large skulls. Inside of the tombs, a collection of stone discs were recovered. The discs were almost 12 inches in diameter. The objects had a groove on the surface of the disc and spiraled outwards from the center hole 
forming a double spiral. Closer inspection showed that the grooves were actually a line of small carvings or signs. The discs were labeled the Dropa Stones. The Dropa Stones were sent to a variety of scholars for investigation. One of them, Professor Sum Un Nui of the Beijing Academy for Ancient Studies, found that the spiral grooves were actually a line of characters written in an unknown language. Years later, he announced that he had managed to translate the language. For a long time, the Chinese government forbade the professor from publishing anything about the Dropa Stones. However, after many years of debate, he published his hypothesis. Sum Um Nui claims that the translation of the Dropa Stones tells a story of an alien spacecraft that crashed in the Bayan Harshan region 12,000 years ago. The occupants were extraterrestrial beings called Dropa or Zopa. The Dropa could not repair their craft, so they tried to adapt to the conditions on Earth. Meanwhile, the local Ham tribesmen hunted down and killed most of the aliens. Supposedly, the aliens had intermarried with the locals, making identification of the origins of the skeletons more difficult. Many people have challenged these claims, and Sum Um Nui was forced to resign from the Beijing Academy. The Dropa stones have been disappearing all over the world and are not available for public viewing at any museum. The pictures of the artifacts are the only thing left for the public. The 300 Million Year Old Screw While investigating the remains of a recently crashed meteorite outside Moscow in 1998, Russian scientists discovered a rock with a screw firmly fixed inside. Geologists estimate the age of the rock to be around 300 million years old, older than the existence of dinosaurs. Evidence shows that the iron atoms of the screw and the silicon atoms of the rock have in fact spread and fused, suggesting the screw is by no means a recent addition to the rock. Since the initial finding, much debate has surrounded the discovery. Scientists were baffled and did not know what to think of it. Did it come from space? From some extraterrestrial visitors? Or is this screw proof of ancient civilizations that inhabited Earth millions of years ago? Let us know what you think in the comments. The 6 Million Year Old Human Footprints The human foot is very distinctive compared to other animals. Our five toes lack claws. We normally present the sole of our foot flat to the ground, and our first and second toes are longer than the smaller ones. In comparison to our fellow primates, our big toes are in line with the long axis of the foot, and they don't stick out to one side. Many believe the defining characteristics of being part of the human clade is exactly the shape of our foot. For this reason, the discovery of a 5.7 million years old fossilized human footprints completely shocked scientists. The footprints discovered at Trachilos, Crete, are small tracks made by someone walking upright on two legs, leaving 29 footprints in total. There is no doubt that the footprints are human, since the ape footprints look very different. The ape foot is shaped more like a human hand, with the big toe attached low on the side of the sole and sticking out sideways. Although scientists can't make any sense of the human resembling footprints, they aren't the only million-year-old footprints discovered. At Liatoli in Tanzania, there are some 3.66 million-year-old footprints, which are even more human-like than those of Trachilos making it clear that millions of years ago, there was a human-like species who walked on two feet. The only other explanation could be time travel. What do you think? The 400 Million Year Old Machine In the remote Kamchatka Peninsula, 150 miles from Tijil, Russia, archaeologists discovered a strange fossil. 
The discovery completely surprised the scientists. It was a machine. After analysis, it seems that it was made of metal parts that seemed to form some kind of mechanism, a gear which may be of some type of watch or computer. The pieces were all dated and the results were shocking. They were around 400 million years old. Hundreds of toothed cylinders made up the machine. They were in a perfect state of conservation. American geologists also examined the artifact and confirmed it was some sort of machine. They were amazed. Nobody could believe that 400 million years ago, a man could have existed, let alone a sophisticated machine. The Dorchester Pot In 1852, an explosion was used to break up a rock at Meeting House Hill in Dorchester, Massachusetts. After the explosion, an incredible pot was excavated in two pieces. The intricate pot is made entirely of zinc and was decorated with silver inlay. The decorative work and perfect manufacturing of the Dorchester pot denote its creator was a master craftsman in the molding of this metal. The age of the pot, however, is the true mystery. It's the number one discussion among experts as it appears that no one can agree on how old it exactly is. According to geologists, the Roxbury conglomerate, where this mysterious pot originated from, has been dated as having accumulated between 570 and 593 million years ago during the Ediacaran period. Does this make the pot between 570 and 600 million years old? It is a possibility. According to many researchers, the Dorchester pot is evidence of the presence of advanced civilization in North America over 600 million years ago. Other researchers deny that it's millions of years old, but still believe that the Dorchester pot had been manufactured by an ancient civilization that predated the Noatian flood it is very interesting that several botanists believe that the plant species that appear on the Dorchester pot disappeared from our planet thousands of years ago, and there is no way people from our recent history could know about them. Whether this artifact belongs to a million-year-old civilization, or if it actually does depict plant species that disappeared from Earth thousands of years ago, still remains a mystery. If you've been fascinated by these incredible cases of forbidden archaeology, you should know that there are many more unexplained discoveries throughout the years. Some of the most mysterious ones are the giant stone spheres of Costa Rica, which are over 3,000 perfectly carved round stones, the largest weighing up to 16 tons. There is no solid explanation as to why, how, or when they were placed there. Another famous mystery is the Antikythera mechanism, which is the most sophisticated mechanism known from the ancient world, and it's also considered the first computer in the history of mankind. Instead of giving us some answers, most of these mysterious discoveries are simply raising more and more questions. Like, how is an ancient Sumerian bowl found in Bolivia, South America, when according to science, the Americas didn't have any connection to Asia, nor Africa, or Europe. How were Egyptian artifacts discovered in the Grand Canyon? In fact, many mummified bodies were found there as well. We just have to agree that we know little to nothing regarding our real history. Like the legendary mountaineer Doug Scott says, Evidence doesn't lie. History may be accurate, but archaeology is precise. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. And if you're new, hit subscribe and the bell next to it for future notifications.